Prayer in the morning. Prayer in the morning. Thank you, Jacqueline. And today has already started out being better. But I'm getting a, um, a stress test for my heart today to make sure it's nothing wrong with my heart. Um, my co-worker was like, I don't have anxiety, but I can't get having anxiety. But ain't nothing wrong. It seemed like if you were going to have anxiety, like you should be freaking out, right? It's like something really should be going on again. You had an anxiety attack, and that just nothing happening, right? So I don't get that. Gonna teach you how to dance. So my baby with me because he was like, and the you're going to get your board to me. I'm going with you. I can tell him I'm grown. I don't even go to the doctor and hold my hand. I don't. I don't care what he's looking at me like. I don't even know what he's going to hold my hand. I don't know. I don't know. I'm ready. I don't know what they're going to have me do. I guess walk around on the tread machine. See, that's why I need a new tread machine at home. I'd be prepared if I had one. So I just do just make sure my heart. Sounds awful. It should sound like that. All your valves have their own sounds. Why does it sound like that? Just all your valves have different sounds. But that sounded terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be able to tell now? The doctor's going to have to tell me. Good. It does. That's weird looking. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it on uh -huh. my phone. No running for me. They just wanted to take pictures of my heart today and see how my heart's functioning, whether the valves are opening or closing right. It could have been sent by anyone. It could be referencing. <laughs> Behind the text message are multiple. He just as weird as I. Stress test won't be good. Now I'm getting my mammogram for my paperwork now. What is Dr. Cute? Y'all smile. Is she adorable? Pretty lady. Okay. God, I'm about to be a super duper fan. I mean, like, as soon as I get here, I couldn't even start talking to y'all before. They was like, okay, come on back. Have you ever had a money grab before? Blah, 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 blah. So I should be in and out real fast. Got to leave my necklace on. All I have to do is put this gown here on. Y'all, can you see how little this gown is? I mean, I am, I am a petite flower. I'm sitting here complaining because I'm thinking the thing's going to be too little. Hmm. You're lying something. New every day. back when I'm done, you guys. It shouldn't take long at all, huh? So, I offended this lady. I put my stuff in this locker. And, um, I'm thinking nobody was here. Or at the very least, they would be going to a different, um, dressing room. And the lady came in my locker. And I got so paranoid because I got my tablet sitting up there and my purse was hanging in here. And I got my rent and everything in my purse. And I was like... 
wait, y'all don't put no locks on the lockers? And she was like, no, we don't have any locks. I was like, oh my goodness. I said, well, my stuff is in there. I said, there's somebody in there. And she's like, we can stand out here. She comes out. And so the lady came out. You ain't got to worry about me stealing nothing. I mean, no offense, lady, but I don't know you from Captain Crunch and my rent. <laughs> My little old mortgage, my um, my water bill money, and another bill that straight cash is in here. And then my tablet, my phone. I mean, when I say I love everything in here, like a da 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 da. Whew. <laughs> and then I screamed when the lady was doing it because I can just imagine them catching hope to my boobs, squeezing too hard, and then messing me up from some Oprah Winfrey show I saw. 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm a nut. So I told you guys God would work everything out. Yesterday was hellacious. But today went a zillion times better. If you saw, I showed y'all my heart beating. And I know my heart. And I don't believe I'm having no fucking anxieties attacks either. So we're just going to have to figure it out. I don't know. Um, and I went and did my, my mammogram. I told y'all what happened with that. <laughs> that lady was really offended. But I mean, you never can tell, right? I mean, people who don't look like they still still, that's how they get away with it because nobody's watching them. They watching the folks they think stealing who ain't going to steal because they know they being watched. But ain't nobody watching the folks who they think ain't never going to steal. And they be the thieves. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm doing, I'm untwisting my hair. I think I'm going to flat iron it. Because I haven't flat ironed it in a long time. So I think I'm going to flat iron it. And this will be the first and last time I flat iron this year. But I think I'm going to flat iron it and then clip the ends. Because my ends are a mess. My hair is growing really good. But my ends are a mess. And people swear up and down, you don't cut your ends and stop the growth or whatever. And then I'm going to braid it up real good and it'll be braided for another week. I got to find me a hairstyle. But both of my doctor's appointments went really well. The insurance folks have proudly did what they were supposed to. Which I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to take a little heat off of them. My mail person will not deliver mail to my house if it's anything sitting in front of the mailbox. And my, uh, <clears throat> my driveway, it comes up on like a pretty deep incline. So when you have a regular car or a low sitting car, you're gonna if you don't come on the exact right way, you're gonna scrape the bottom. And I hate scraping the car. So I've been parking on the street instead of in my driveway. And then my special friend, when he's over, he's parking in the street. So with both of the vehicles there, it's like we're blocking the mailbox. And so the mail carrier was not delivering to me for the last two or three days. So today we made a point to not be in front of the mail box and then everything came so everything that I needed to come through came through so now I just gotta do what I gotta do right anywho I will talk to you guys tomorrow tomorrow is not gonna be a big day I'm gonna go out and get start my five miles again so first thing in the morning with or without a companion talking about my daughter I'm gonna go for my five mile walk and then I'm taking my mom to see a friend of hers. And then probably I'll be spending the rest of the, the weekend, well, the rest of Saturday, doing me and my daughter's hair for the upcoming week. And then after that, it be time to cruise, y'all. <laughs> All right, talk to y'all later. My son came with me while I'm getting a stress test on my heart to see why I'm losing my breath once or twice a month.